what's up guys Z with monster review here um, usually a lot of planning goes into my videos and scripts and whatnot but um, this is something that I stumbled upon I didn't actually expect it to work but it did and so you know my first thought was to share it with uh, whoever needs help with this problem so basically I have a go control linear z-wave garage door opener Here it is. So that's the linear garage door opener. And uh, basically, I had it with an uh, old garage door opener, which is right here. It's a very basic garage door opener. And uh, it worked fine. But uh, this garage door opener has a bit of dust, so it's no longer operational. So I had to uh, buy a new garage door opener here. You can see I got the Chamberlain and it does support my Q, but it didn't come with it. So that's an extra um, $100 or so to get the MyQ hub so I can have online access with this Chamberlain. But um, I, I didn't buy the one with my Q mainly because I had the Z-Wave linear garage door controller. And so my thought was that this would be investment that I would be able to carry over to my next garage door opener. Um, however, Chamberlain, they're, they're, uh, they're sneaky. I'll tell you that what they basically did was they made it hard for you to use a Z wave or any kind of, uh, smart controller that basically just, uh, bridges the connection for your, um, your wall controller for the garage door and then basically that controller uh, bridges the connection briefly and you get the garage door to open but basically this uh, this garage door opener is a lot smarter than that one so you can't just touch for example you can't just touch these wires coming out here for the garage door button you can't just touch them and have the garage door open this one is quite different nothing happens if you touch these two wires together um, however, the garage door does open when you push that button. Push it again and close it. So no matter what I did, that uh, linear garage door opener was not working with this Chamberlain. I connected it here, I tried repairing it, all kind of nonsense, nothing worked. Then I tried bringing it over here, tried connecting up to this controller, and that did nothing. So what I did come across was someone saying that uh, you can try the garage door remote opener, which is what I got here. So I got the Chamberlain garage door remote opener. So I played around with it and this is what I came up with. So basically this is the uh, Go Control Garage Door Opener Z-Wave and this is the remote control for the garage door opener. Uh, basically I took it out of the case and I found the button. So switch four is the one that controls the garage door. So I went in the back here and these four pins I started playing around with them to see which combination will open the garage door when I activate the Z-Wave garage door opener. And this is the combination that I found. When wired here like this, when I activate the Z-Wave garage door opener, it triggers the remote as if I'm pushing this button here and it opens the garage door. And it actually works pretty well. But anyway, um, when I hold this up, to the garage door like this and I activate the Z-Wave garage door opener, everything works like it should. So basically when you push the switch, it bridges this connection and then it'll activate the garage door. And one way I did, one way I tested these, uh, these points right here was that I took a piece of wire and I bridged those connections to see what happened. Now when you take a piece of wire and you bridge these two connections, the garage door opens up because the switch is activated. And that's essentially what the switch is doing. So once I found that, I wired these two wires up to that and everything started working like it should. And got a garage door open, 
Go controller is plugged in right here to this outlet and it's wired to the remote which is right here and now with my phone I'm going to go ahead and close the garage door. And there you go, that light indicates that the signal was, uh, the connection was bridged and that the garage door closed. So let me go ahead and finalize the installation. Everything's tucked away. I put the remote, I mean the uh, wall switch back up and the go control is back mounted right up there. And let's go ahead and close it. Okay, nothing worked that time. Let's try again. There we go. Let's go ahead and open it one more time. So it's not exactly 100% foolproof. Like, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I mean, for the most part, I think it works. Let's go ahead and open it one more time. Okay, close it. Okay, that wasn't the controller. That was my cat. He triggered, <laughs> he triggered the sensors. Okay, there you go. So everything works for the most part. There's a controller mounted it back right next to the garage door opener and inside you can see the uh, remote module just left it hanging. I wanted to get as I wanted to put it as close to the uh, to the receiver the antenna as I could. But I don't think I think um, the fault lies with the controller. Sometimes the controller works, sometimes it doesn't. Not the uh, not the Z-Wave controller, but that remote. But it's a it's a good workaround um, if you're having a similar problem. If you're trying to get your garage door to become smart again, and you know you have the the uh, Z-Wave garage door opener, and it's a it's a great workaround. Um, now a lot of people are complaining that it's not ideal, and um, I guess you know you have to put in a little bit of work, and also you lose um, a controller, a remote control. You, and garage doors usually come with two so someone's gonna have to sacrifice one but I mean the good thing is for this particular model the Chamberlain model uh, the remotes only 26 bucks so it's a lot cheaper than actually getting a um, a MyQ uh, hub um, so it's basically uh, it's up to you it's whatever your preference is um, for me I had I, work, I started on my smart home way before this you know replacing this garage door opener i recently just replaced this uh just installed this garage door opener a day ago um that garage door opener the z-wave i've had it for a year and a half now so it's definitely a device that i already had so rather than go buy a whole new setup which is the myq i just try to work with what i had and you know this works for me as long as it opens and closes my garage door from my smartphone and I can do it from anywhere in the world, I'm happy. I would have been able to just monitor if the garage door is open or closed because I do have that Z-Wave open-close sensor installed right here. 
It's, it comes with the um, linear garage door opener. Um, so I'd have been able to see if the garage door is open or closed, but I wouldn't have been able to do anything with it. I wouldn't have been able to close the door or open it. Um, so now I get that I get back that feature, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, just order a, a brand new uh, Chamberlain remote control because I stole it from my wife's car. So I'm going to replace it, and um, we should be back in business. Another reason why I really wanted to make this uh, linear garage door controller work with my new Chamberlain is because I also have it connected to smart things and I have it automating, you know, some things like the lights inside the house. And I also have it linked to Amazon Alexa so I can get her to open and close the garage door. Um, you know, I could go with MyQ. I think MyQ is supported by Alexa, but it is not supported by smart things yet. I don't even think it is going to be because, um, you know, in smart things, all you're going to find is like the iris and this linear go control. Those are only two uh, garage door controllers you're going to find. But um, yeah, I have it connected to Alexa and hey, check it out. Computer, turn on garage door. There you go, she opens the garage door. Computer, turn off garage door. Okay. Hey, I didn't say it was perfect. But uh, thanks for watching and I hope I was helpful. See you in the next one.